What's up, nerds and nerdettes, me ladies? I'm JR Shank, and I'm here to show you some tips on OBS for dummies. If you're looking to set up a stream on Twitch, a lot of people are nowadays, there's a simple way of starting. So, we want to start by going to the OBS website. Link will be down in the description below. You want to download from whatever platform you're using it for, Windows, save it, and then you want to install, and then you eventually get something that looks a little bit like this. Um, you won't have nothing in sources, you just have this here, it says scene. Before you start anything, you want to go to settings, you go to video, and you want to put your um, base canvas to 1080, and if you're streaming on Twitch, I advise to set this to 720. 60. And this downscale filter, I always put it on 36 sampling. I'll be creating an, another video eventually explaining low end and high end settings, but at the moment, we'll set it to this. So we'll use the scene that comes as default. We'll rename this to say main screen. Remember the source will be where you have your different scenarios when you're streaming. So if you've got like um, gameplay capture and then like in intervals, like going and load screens or just chatting, you can skip to another scene with a different setup completely, but we're to stick to one at the moment. Press enter. So to add what I've got here already, you want to go to right click on the sources, add display capture. Say we will do this as screen one. And this will be the main screen I'll watch the gameplay and as I'm playing will be on. Click OK. And here we'll show I've got two displays. So my display two would be the one on my left, which will be for say chat and Spotify. So we want the main one I play games on, so it's display one. You have an option here to capture cursor. Uh, I usually just leave this on. It's, it's to put down to you really. Click OK. So as you can see, this is not capturing everything at the moment because my monitor is 1440p, but our canvas is 1080. And right click it, go to transform, fit to screen. And now you have your display. If I move this over to display two, you can now see my monitor one desktop. So if I load it again now, it would show just the game. I move this back over to display one, you'll see the OBS. So to add to mic, simply, um, I won't be going into any detail on filters or anything like that at the moment. This would be on another video. And right click it again, hit add. You want audio input capture. As I've already got a mic set, I'll put this as mic one. Click OK. And you have device here. This is where you'll select which device you want to capture your voice on. And click on default. And I'm using my mixer, so it'll be this one here. OK. And you're done. As you can see, I've got two mics showing up now. I can mute what this one, which is I just added. So the last thing I'm going to show you today is adding a camera. I won't be showing you any settings or adjusting any colors as of yet. It's just simply adding a camera, moving it about to where you want, um, and changing the resolution that it's set at. So you want to go to sources, right click, add video capture device. Name this whatever you like, put cam one. Okay. So you should get up a display like this. If you're only using one camera, it should display it straight off the bat. But as I'm using multiple devices, I have to select mine from this drop down here. As you see, now we've got the camera. This is set as, as a default, as a, the scaling. So we're going to go to resolution, custom, resolution, 1280 by 720. The reason I set 720, cameras use a lot of resources in OBS. Uh, if you've got multiple cameras going on, it can slow down, especially using a one-stream PC. 
Um, so the safest bet, I just set at 720 because you don't really see much of a difference in quality, especially when streaming on Twitch. As your upload rates are only six megs anyway. So to get the 1080p, it's, it's just set at 720. <laughs> I will go with that for on this uh, on the later video. And as you can see now, we have a camera on our scene. We can adjust the size by clicking on the corners and moving it in like this. Placing it wherever you like. So hopefully now you've got scenes, sources, and a camera set up. This is going to be a new adventure for me. It's um, the first time I've ever done something on YouTube that's been serious. You can watch me on Twitch on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, sometimes on Saturday, at II Shank II. Uh, I hope it's getting, I'll see you soon. Side. Jump shot right side in the head.